This was a lot of fun. Recommend it to anybody, really. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thank you, man. All right. So, we want to stick to, uh, we like Ignite? Uh, I'm going to see what the top laner picks. Gotcha. What I'm seeing right now is a really good scaling team here against... Okay. I love this lane. My favorite lane. Uh, okay. What would you recommend for... You can do... Up? You can do Conquer. You can do Press the Attack. You can do either. Uh, what I've been running lately is Grass, but if you want to run... You can run Press the Attack or Conquer if you're more comfortable with those. Um, press the Attack would be fine in this lane, so would Conquer. You want to do this? Okay, I'll show you. Do uh, Go back, go back, go back. Go to Conditioning. Go to Conditioning. Instead of Bone Plating. And then do Overgrowth. Or you can do Unflinching. That's your choice. I and would rather do Unflinching because I'm not take uh, Tenacity. Biscuits and Boots. Biscuits, Boots, Attack Speed for, one, for top one. Okay. Yep, nice. And you're good. And this... Okay, I don't cool. Have, I have Ignite, by the way. That's okay. I forgot to swap. That's okay. We're going to make this work. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to do this. Oh, okay. The secret build. We're going to do the secret build here. We're going to get a lot more sustain out of um, having the uh, the biscuits. So basically what this build is, we're going, uh, you know, we're going to want to rush Stride first into Bork into Mana Mute. Um, so you're gonna see something that I know you're gonna say something about. I play on lock screen. Yes, it's gotten me killed before. Why do you like lock screen? Uh, cause I can't do the other way. Very well. Have you ever thought about putting time into trying to learn it? Yep. And it's just not for you? Uh, more that I... Uh, had a lot of trouble trying to figure it out. Okay. So, the Riven lane, um, remember how high her cooldowns are early? Uh, really good time to trade is after she's used her 3Q. Um, and she's got about 8, 9 seconds before she can Q again. And we have Ignite too, so if we're able to get into it, get into a good fight, then it works. So we'll see. There we go. We got the bone plating down, so now if we ever see a good opportunity to trade, we take it. This is fine, look for that. Yep, good play. And we kind of chase this, you got to go for it. Blow her uh, flash here. Flash. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going to slow push. Only last hit minions. Only last hit. Don't hit them for anything else except to finish the kill. I'm going to try to keep the talking to the minimum and let you do mostly your thing here. But take a look at the wave. This should actually push back to us as well. So she's just fucked. Yeah, the uh, cannon's pushing to uh, pushing all my minions. Or, uh, yeah. So, in this situation here, we're actually looking to kill her again when she comes back. But we don't want to fight in too many minions. So once we see her come back, now we wait. So we're going to like auto attack a little bit and try to cut it down just a tad. Just so we can like look for trades without getting punished by um, the actual minions. Because at level 3, they're, the minions will punish you. So we're going to try to keep this frozen still. Yep, perfect. Don't need to do anything here. job honestly i would uh which is fine she's already mid lane this would be a good opportunity for a dive but slow push this slow push this make her scared that she's gonna get dove we want to build it up to two and if you don't see her for five more seconds then hard push all right that's fine leave it like this though leave it like this because when you're building like the slow only last hit because when you're building this slow she's gonna take a lot of damage from minions right so she has to be afraid to try and go in here Nice. Do some damage. Big. We might be able to get the... Ooh, close, close, close. Now we're going to take one more wave here, and then we'll get out. One more, one more, one uh, more. This wave is... Okay, yeah. Trust, trust, trust. She's too low to kill you. Pot. Get this. I'm just worried about Kha'Zix right now. 
Nope, you're good. You got you got enough. You got flash. You got everything you need. And now we're gonna push that last one, and now we get out of here. No, no, I can't. You're fine. You don't have to dive. You're winning hard right now. So, <clears throat> look at your wave really quick. The reason I said one more is because the next one was a cannon wave. This takes her a lot yeah. longer to actually push, and you're gonna be able to get back before she uh, gets in there. So we'll just take. Yep, and then you could probably just get a long or yeah, long sword's fine. And then head on back, and we'll get the tier on the next back. But it's going to take her a lot longer to push um, that cannon wave. So we'll actually get back, and we'll probably miss nothing. So this is the perfect time. That was literally, we missed a little bit of CS, but that was a fir perfect first go around, basically. That was good. Yep, we missed one minion there. That's just perfect. That's just perfect macro. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna just going to try to freeze this wave. We want to cut it down to about five, five or six. Leave all those casters alive and get rid of these guys, and you're good. I so really we're I had a ward right now. So we're good. We leave this like this, only last hit, and we're good. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna take her out of the game. We're literally just gonna out macro her and make her life miserable. So make sure we're only last hitting. We're gonna build up a uh, another slow push, basically. Look how much XP and gold she's just missing entirely. So this is a good, you don't have to like play too crazy aggressive, but you can stand in between her and the wave and then she can actually miss out on XP. So that's a really good posture is to basically walk back and forth, stand here, and then sometimes she'll actually be too out of range and she will miss XP on CS too. So we're literally just demolishing her, that's beautiful. And if you just ever see an opportunity uh, to take a trade, you can probably all in and go for the kill. So we're just dominating the lane. This is beautiful. We're using our Q to make sure that we're keeping distance, but also pushing her back. Oh, love it, love it. Oh, she is gonna tilt. This is beautiful. I'm this guy's jungler. I'm on my way. They lose this 1v2. She's not 6. Take one more, and then we're out. She's here. Or she's 6. Yep, you're good. She won't kill you. One more, and let's go home. I'm gonna go check this real quick. That's fine. Uh, I might just take, take that scuttle. Take this scuttle. We see Kha'Zix bottom uh, mid. We're actually gonna take the scuttle, take the plant, and then we're gonna go back up there. It'll give us, it will be delayed a little bit on, uh, where's he running? Is he running to you? He might need your help. You're good, you can finish that. And now go back to uh, top, go back to top. We don't need to do this anything there. Went in. Oh, he did, okay. Well. Lovely. All right, go through um, river because we're gonna take that plant, and then we're gonna go back up there. We still have ulti and we still have um, ignite, so we still win this fight against her. This is just this is just perfect. Good rotations. We're literally dominating the entire top side of the map. So we're gonna walk right back into her and just do the same shit we were doing. We want to freeze and just really ruin her day. Kill her. Kill her ult. Yep, too easy. Took it. Yep. So actually wait until, uh, get this down to four or the five casters. So let's push it a little bit. And now you're going to kill, now leave, now leave, now back, 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 back. Ooh. This ribbon is gold. I'm in a full gold game, actually. All right, let's get our stride. And how much gold do we have? We have enough. If we don't have enough for the tier, we need the tier right now. So if we don't have enough for tier, we just, Yep. Tier, and then do as much as we can to get the stride. All right, we're good. And now look at your wave. Let me see it. So we move, we lose three. But that's beautiful, right? So now look, now look how far she has to run up to get back to you. She's screwed. You're literally just you're dominating the lane. Do you see how much of a difference this is when you play patient and dominate it and just really out macro another player? 
when you somebody see, I'm learning something this game, so I actually have a little bit more investment. Uh, the Jax game I didn't have any investment in, and that might have been part of the problem. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. We're just going to do this on repeat. We're going to build a, this slow wave. We're going to take XP away from her. And that's literally what we're going to do for the rest of this time until she is either too tilted or, you know, she's already two levels down. I mean, it's just beautiful. And now we're just going to do the same thing, slow push it, keep trying to get nice little cheeky trades on her whenever we get the opportunity. But we want to make sure that we're focusing on the CS for sure because that's going to be where most of our gold is going to come from. And just, uh, okay. just keep in mind if you ever see her go like crazy in on you. Now I would be a little bit scared of a gank if we're. Yeah, under that I was effort. holding W at that point. My brain stopped working. All right, we're gonna push one more wave and we're gonna go home. Kazix is bot here. Cox is dead. If you want to go for a demolish proc, you can. Uh, but just be careful. Now get out. Alter if you uh, need to, if she tries to chase. All right, you're good. Go on home. So wave's going to catch a little bit closer to your tower, and we're going to do the same exact thing we've been doing. Press tab for me. Beautiful. She's useless. So just keep last hitting, keep controlling uh, your lane. You're just dominating her right now. I wish we had enough gold for a uh, control ward there. I had 300, I bought uh, something in the Bork next. Gotcha. I think uh, in the situation there, I think a control ward would have been more beneficial than the uh, dagger. One of but those dots, I guess. But, uh, but at this point, I think you might even win the 1v2, but it's just better to know when you're going to have to 1v2. So at this point, with us being this ahead, we really don't want to take turret aggro, but we want to try to get a demolish proc. So when we see her using abilities, we kind of just let her spam through them, and then we just want to hit this proc and get away from her. So we... Yep. You're good. Wait a minute. Oh. She pressed R. Pretty sure. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I actually don't know what that... Go ahead, R, 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 R. She's dead, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. Kill her. So if she, if anybody, see, with the how big of a lead you have, if she ever overcommits like that, and she uses, like, you know, one of her two mobility um, spells, she's just dead. So we can actually just shove this. Nice, I do appreciate the parry there for the wave, not gonna lie. And now, if she starts TPing, let her finish it. Hold on, slow this down a bit. Slow this down a bit. Put a ward. Put a ward. Try. And go ahead and last hit it. We wanted to kill that cannon. Let's see if he leaves. Oh, oh God! That was really stupid. Run all the way back to two tier. A little slip up on the fingers, that's okay. Holy fuck. Do not help him. Let's get our vamps back. And then we're good on that. That's all we need here. We'll walk back to uh, top lane. I kind of want to go kill Cog at the moment. Because he's free farming. That's I'll okay. go top. You can go there. You can go bot if you want. I was going to say just because there's going to be a fight at Rift Herald. But I guess they're going to they're gonna lose it early. Cue this wave and then just keep queuing to him and you'll finish the kill. Good job. But well, since we're down here, just go ahead and push. Diana might go and push it. Uh, we want to push this in and then get um, initial posture for the dragon that's coming up. Sona here. 
This is good. You're seeing one, two, three, four people. Just go hard split, hard split. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Get this tower. This is your tower. Get the demolish proc and then get out. You don't. Oh. Oh, okay. I just can't. Look for red buff. Auto. Look for red buff. See if red buff's up. It's not up. We can go ahead and uh, get Krugs, get Raptors, whatever we need to do. Or we can push. go. Now, if he does, that's pretty dumb of him. That'd be beautiful. That would be a silver thing. So, here, I actually want you to push this and back. Because I want you to go get another power spike before uh, dragons. Let's get out of here unless we got 22 seconds or 23. Okay. I can sell. I don't have anything to sell though. You don't need to sell. I want you to get the pickaxe. These are called power backs, right? Before a big objective, we want to have um, every ounce of power that we can have. And if that's just an extra 25 attack damage, then that is an you know, just another 25 attack damage, which, you know, that could be the difference in the fight, truly, you know? So we really, the, the end goal in fights like this is literally just to get the dragon. We're not really worried too much about fighting. I want you to go right back to, uh, I want you to look for a way to get to bot lane here. There's uh, a... You're good, he won't chase you. Don't try to fight, because you could you could die from this. Really? Just leave My it, just leave it. on the other side. Ow. That kind of hurt. Yep. I'm going to build some MR. They're all... Game. I feel like they're all going to die here. We just leave it. I would honestly I just... I would honestly just back and then go top. And go catch that wave. I'm going to go grab this uh, off of Grom. That's fine. Let's see what... Uh, Lucian needs to rotate top. Someone needs to... Okay. Cassidy does. So you're good. You've got a vamp spec. We're going to go get our Bork. And now we're in a really good spot. And then just go back to uh, bot lane. So how do you how do you feel about that grasp build in the the early lane? Uh, I mean, gra I've used grasp whenever Conk was first nerfed. So yeah, like the but I never touched inspiration. This is the first game on Fiora that I'm touching inspiration. To so right look at uh look at your conditioning and look how much resistances you actually have. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I've used it on other champions. I've not used it on Fiora yet. I think I've only used it on once maybe and that was because bone plating wasn't good at the time shove this hard you see yumi kiana and kazakh's top lane it's going to take at least 15 seconds for them to get it down here you make sure you're using your stride breaker to push faster and if we see yes this is our tower if we see kogma we're diving him we're gonna have to learn how to do it we gotta not take turret shots though that's for sure ping that you want it show intent Eh. He's just clearing the wave because all he's got is AP right now. Yeah. Remember, there's five alive. You're only seeing three. There's three bot. Yep. Look at, uh, make sure we're keeping track and critically thinking. We, we see Riven top. We see Kiana mid. We got a blue ward to check that. Yumi's off a of cog. Kogma probably someone back. Just killed it. So there's someone here. Oh, she's dead. Go for the cog. Go for the cog. She's going to jump on you. Okay, you're good. Now kill her. Yeah, she's dead. Oh, flash out. You're good. And now we can go back in, maybe? Probably not, I guess. Oh, God. No, nope. okay. Remember, you can ult to run faster, by the way, if somebody's chasing you. We're good. Just get back to that tower. Honestly, go top lane. Just troll this shit. Go top lane and start farming, because you'll get all your HP back. I don't think this is a good... I think you get one tapped here, and you just die. I think getting to the top and just start farming is better. Get some HP back. This is where I get weirded out by not having a TP as it just feels bad that we can't like get over around the map. It's one dead, Riven's dead, um, three dead. Yep, just go ahead and push this. And just keep in mind that Riven should be in, uh, put a control word in that bush there. And then get the uh, wave. And the second you see a Riven, we probably just want to back up. Depends how much HP we get back from this. Play for that Grom. Get that Grom. 
It'll be up in like five seconds. Riven's mid. You're good. We'll take this. Remember that they're coming to you, so let's just try to finish this quickly. Ooh, I don't know about the parry there. Okay. Just get the hell out okay. of there. This is a fun game. Alright, we're gonna get a Warhammer. Uh, I'm wondering if I need MR just for fucking Kogma. You don't. We just dodge it. Look at Dragon coming up. We want to go to Dragon right now. As you're running, so as you're running to like objective fights like this, you should be pressing tab and looking at who your prio uh, target is going to be for your ulti. So I would say Cog or Kiana, but it looks like they lost the fight really hard. We can go, uh, you know, take Wolves, catch mid, save two tier, but they get everything here off that fight. But remember that you're playing a scaling team comp, so this is fine. This isn't the worst thing ever. There's not really too much to, uh, if they try to five-man this, we just got to let them have it. Go get your red buff so they don't. Yep. Okay, interesting. Go get the top wave, top wave, top wave. A lot of gold being missed here if it goes to the void. Are they on Baron or are they just trolling? They're just trolling. Okay. Bot. All right, we'll just keep pushing this. Just make sure we're always looking at the map, seeing where people are. Riven's bot. We might be able to... Yep, okay. This is fine. We could actually just do this. Showing intent. Good job. By spam pinging, we should be able to shred this. Now, that is a macro play. You see Riven bot lane. You show intent. You don't even have to type anything. And we're going to go ahead and grab the Baron here. That's just better, better macro. Better team. Well done. Good job. And now we're gonna go catch bot lane now. And we're gonna we're gonna just literally keep scaling. So we're gonna go catch this bot wave. Um, that's on its way because we have no reason to be top anymore. If this guy tries to fight, he's an idiot. But we're actually yeah, try to come from behind her actually, because it's a free kill. She's trolling. She's so trolling. Yeah, she knows she's trolling. That's fine, let her die. You're not gonna catch it, Lucian will. Let's just keep pushing. She's gonna waste her time. Honestly, the best thing, this is like so good for you. So we're gonna push until we feel like we can't push anymore. So we see Kogma's top. Well, Kog is top and he's the only one I'm worried about. So make sure uh, when you're, so on this next wave, I wanna see you using your stride to hit like all six. I want him to like, you know what I mean? Okay, that's four, that's fine. But I wanna see us using our stride more to push cause it's gonna save us, you know, you push three waves and it saves you like five seconds, which is a lot. So we saw Cog top, we saw Kha'Zix mid. We got a blue ward, we're putting that there, okay. Kha'Zix is still mid. Walk up so the stride hits everything. Nice, see how much faster we're doing this, that's perfect. Get a uh, demolish proc. This should be the tower, get the tower and then get out. Yep, and now we're done. Now we're gonna wanna back here. Remember, you can ult if this guy tries to slow you. Can, yep, you can ult if you need to, to get away. Now look how much time you're wasting. Just keep running from him. Yep, waste their time. Beautiful macro. There we go. So you wasted their time, you made them chase you, and that's perfect. I do want to say one thing though. I would not, I would not use my parry there, just in case, if somebody does have flash or something like that. We uh, all... They're trying to get me slowed. That's what was going through my head. And if I got slowed there, I think I'd be pretty dead. No, I don't think so. My, I, my yeah, I, so always remember, and people always forget this on Fiora, like when Kha'Zix is right next to you there, if you just ult him, if somebody's chasing you and you ult them, they can never catch you and you just run away from them with them ulted. Just your ult doesn't have to be used all the time as an offensive spell. It can be used de defensively as well. So right now there's nothing to play for. Your team's backing up. Really what we're trying to do here is try to get, uh, we've got a minute left on the dragon and that's our next play. So right now we're more looking for something cheese. Like now we just kind of chill. We just sit here in this bush. Yep, we just literally sit here and we wait and see if somebody walks up on us and messes up. Uh, yeah, you just stay, you, you just stay, it doesn't matter. They don't know you're here. No, but I have a Baron buff. Oh, never mind, it's gone. Okay, so we see three now. So now we want to put pressure top lane and then rotate through their jungle back to the, the dragon because we want to be there for our team for the dragon here. 
So we're going to get one more wave. Actually, let's see what they do here. This might just be a perfect split. But when you're doing plays like this, it gives you the perfect posture and opportunity to actually make a decision, like, in the heat of things. So if they're fighting and they win the fight, okay, well, then you can go ahead and split. Bot, I can... I can dive this She way. is dead. Yeah, she's dead. Um, so when you're posturing like that and you're like staying hidden in that bush there, if your team does lose the fight, then you can, you're like, okay, well, it was a one for one. I need to go help my team with dragon, right? But if they win the fight, then you have the opportunity to actually just shove in and then get that. I would actually recall here and get the phage. But does that make sense? Yes. So you're putting you're putting pressure on the map just by hiding, just by putting, just by positioning properly. You're putting more and more pressure on the map. So we're definitely looking for any type of pick we can get, and we want to even out these lanes. So look where they're. Make sure we're pressing like F uh, F two F three. Look at where their wave is. So their wave is pushed up and they're ready to go. But so we're gonna have to go off the second wave that's behind them. So we want to push this very fast and try to get there with them. Perfect. Perfect and get there as fast as possible. They're going to be all focused on them right now. Look at mid-wave as well. Somebody has to ca uh, come for that. Lucian's trolling. Don't know what he's doing. We don't care. We're just going to ignore him. And we're going to keep this push going. Take this tower. Get in him. If you see two people walking towards you, just walk away. We don't have to do anything special. Just walk away. Make them frustrated. All right, we got three people that are not with us anymore. We just leave. I love this. This is this is how you split push. Actually, you're just staying hidden in the jungle, but also like putting pe pressure when it's needed. So this is really perfect. It's good. They are going to be desperate here. I actually want you. Okay, stay in this bush right here. No cap. Just for a moment. I want to see because you'll be able to get a free kill when they come to. Yep. Alter. Okay, you're good. You're good. Just go for this. Cat that's a that's a zone. Cat has CC. She has a she has all. Boom! Beautiful. Kill that Yumi. End the game. GG. End the game. So from what I've grasped from this game is that you don't belong in silver, and when you play the game properly, it's quite obvious. I'll be looking forward to watching. Um, your growth over the next week or two and I hope that you take from this and uh, can climb a lot easier. GG, well played. A absolutely perfect game. Well done. Round of applause. Good job, Jim D. West. Thank you. Hell yeah. That's fine. Look at So look at what you did to the Riven, though. Yeah. Look what you did to her. It, it's just, it's beautiful. That's art. That is just better, Matt. You literally, how many, you know what's crazy? You, you notice that you didn't even fight her that often. You really just out macroed her. She really just yeah. could not play the game. And that's it. <clears throat> well, Jim, we are way over the hour. This has been a hour and 40 minute coaching session, but uh, it's been a good one. Um, I am going to write this down, Silver 271. And I want to uh, keep touch with you, keep in touch with you about your climb, okay? Silver 271 LP, end of session. Update. I would like an update from you on 24th, if I could. Okay. And I'm sending this all to you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, man. Uh, you, you played great. I'm gonna <laughs> go. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, my ranked grind started. I have sent you all your information here that I have written down. Um, Thank you. And I hope that that all makes sense. Some of it's a little weird. I'm going to get better at this. is the first time I've actually wrote down like uh, notes while doing this, but hopefully that helps a little bit. All right, Jim, I'm going to get my stream started up, man. It's been a pleasure. You did a great job, and he's already gone. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Good job, Jim. Love you, buddy. <laughs> all right. That was, a good, that was a good session. That was a great session. I hope you guys had fun watching that one. That was a good one to do. Um, I actually think that he took it and actually was trying to learn. And he did a good job. That was awesome. That was great. I actually meant to stop, hit the stop streaming button and I get confused with the disconnect button like all the time. Nah, you're good. All right. But you did great, man. 
Um, thank you for taking it seriously and uh, trying to learn. That was good. Uh, I think that we learned a lot, and I'll be. Uh, I just want that update on the 24th on how much we've climbed since then. Sure. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. I don't think I would have punished the, the ribbon as hard without you in my ear telling me, uh, giving me an idea of how to play it better. I've always had trouble with ribbon matchups. Really? Yeah. That's a. The last one walked all over me. Well, you did great. You look like you looked like a god in that lane, man. You did an amazing job. Um, this was a lot of fun. Recommend it to anybody, really. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, do you have any uh, final questions in closing or anything? Or anything you want to say? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we covered quite a bit. Um, I just have to use my head a little bit more whenever I'm not taking TP. Uh-huh. Agreed. All right. All right. Good luck. Thank you, man. Once again, it was a good time. Yeah, it was. All right, good luck in your climb as well, man. Bye. See ya. Coach me, dude.